At 6 p.m. this afternoon, the government of Trinidad and Tobago was overthrown. The prime minister and members of the cabinet are under arrest. The imam had announced that they had done this and that the prime minister and <clears throat> members of his cabinet were under arrest. The extent to which that was so, because I denied it at one point and they reminded me that this was a serious thing. And that's the message I had to convey to the population. And I had to begin as the journalist to begin to wonder, well, how do I say this without being arrested for treason? Where is the Prime Minister tonight to address the nation? Where is he? God has removed him. God has removed the authority, not the power, because no man, including myself, has any power. We have only temporary authority because we all die. And that was the build-up to the assault in TTD. That's where we are. That's, that's how we got into being hostages. Those were the first few hours. Around midnight on that Friday night, the army managed to knock TDT off the air, which of course incensed back a great deal. And he had planned obviously to keep appearing on television in order to stir public support. No doubt the army also thought the same thing. So they knocked him off the air. That made him very angry. I think then Baka got kind of hysterical and he said, look, he just point out six men, so come, take them in now. To my understanding, it was like, six of you come. We're going outside to shoot all it to show people that we see it. This government is not concerned about your lives and we are going to show this government that we are serious. You, 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 get up. We are going to blow you up. Come, come with us. I was fearful. I was frightened, I was frightened. But then uh, 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 the other guys around me was giving me the, I feel each, of, each one was feeding off of the other because nobody, in, nobody wasn't in tears. Then I stand side looking at it, I say, well, boy, if this one in fear, yeah, I, I, I suppose I stand up too. But then I was frightened, deep inside I was, I was mad. With the blood drained from his cheeks and tears welling up in his eyes, Madeira told us, they're going to put us in a room wired explosives. If the army attacks, we're all going to be blown up. It took a few stunned minutes of silence for us to digest this news. Somebody broke the silence to suggest a prayer. And just like that, unashamedly, we held hands, some 26 of us, and said the Our Father, and one or two young Pentecostals who had been on a routine visit to TTT and had been caught up in this thing purely by accident, said a prayer in their own praying in tongues manner. 